Hello everyone. I haven't uploaded in qu quite a while to say the least, so um, I am going to try and make a Scratch video and let's see how this goes. I haven't used Scratch in about pff, quite a while ago. I haven't, I haven't made any Scratch projects, so I'm going to try and make a platformer from Scratch in Scratch. This is going to go well. N no, it's not. Uh, let's get started. Okay, let's start by making a new project. I should probably change my username. You can't change your username in Scratch, and I don't know why. Uh, okay. How does this work again? We, first of all, we, we delete the, this. I remember that. Okay. Let's create a new sprite. For now, let's just not have this for now. <laughs> let's just have our hitbox as our player. Let's name this player. Play. Like that. Okay. Okay, let's make a ground. 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 Ground sprite. Okay. Ground sprite. Let's make it. We make that our ground. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's just make sure that when green flag clicked, uh, we're gonna go to zero zero. Yeah. Okay. That should. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. How do you create a platformer? I forgot. Okay, so let's start by gravity, I guess. Let's make gravity. So, delete that. Uh, create a new variable. X velocity. X velocity. For the sprite only. Set X velocity to zero. And then we make another one. Y velocity. And, oh, okay. We already have one here. Okay, we're fine. Okay. And let's forever change y velocity by negative one would that be fine no we should get make like a gravity constant gravity let's keep it at for all sprites and just set it player player gravity okay player gravity let's set it to negative one yeah by player gravity and then we do we use a change or do we use like a go to actually we should be controlling x and y separately so we should first of all change y by y velocity like that and that should yeah that's good now we just need to make sure that we go to the correct position that should be fine let's just make sure that it just in case you know if if y velocity y velocity is greater than negative wait no it, it should be less than sorry less than negative 30 right if that happens just set it to 30 i don't want it to be falling like way too fast right set y velocity to negative 30 so if we set this to like 180 right let's actually let's set that to like negative 20 as the cap like that that should be fine okay if after that we are touching the ground, right? The ground, we're gonna reverse that? Would that work? Change Y by... Surely it's not this easy, right? I, I really don't remember anything here. <laughs> it's just, uh, times negative one. That, wait, that worked? What? Okay, but it's floating. Why is it floating? Okay, no, never mind. I, I understand. If we're touching the ground, we're gonna say set on ground question mark to we're gonna set on ground to zero in the beginning. We're gonna set on ground to uh, one, so that if we're not touching the ground, we are on the ground. Okay. No, but before that, I'm gonna make sure that get out of the ground. So instead of just reversing the y velocity, because that might end up with something really bad, right? We're gonna change y by one. Actually, no, we should repeat until, repeat until not touching ground. Wow, I do, I do know how to program this language. Wow, that's insane, okay. Uh, yeah, change y by one, that should be fine. Yeah, but we have to make sure to set our y velocity to zero if we're on the ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. But we have to make sure that it's like actually, like it, 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 we have to make sure that it actually like works, right? So, uh, like it doesn't just like float down, uh, like float back up. We have to make sure that's instant. I think you have to do it like this. So it's like uh, physics. Physics. Run without screen refresh. Okay. That should be fine, right? That should be fine. If I just move all of that in here and do that, 
We should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, that should behave exactly the same. Yeah, okay, we're good. And let's just set on ground to one there. Uh, maybe make here. Would that be fine? Yeah, we're fine. Actually, let's set Y velocity to zero just at the beginning here. Actually, like after, um, like that. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, let's do let's do jumping. Jumping doesn't seem that hard, right? So if if right, uh, we're gonna oh oh and 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 key space pressed, right? He actually let's do uh, up arrow up key up arrow pressed, right? Y velocity to 20. That'd be fine. Ooh, that's a really high jump, but that does work. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, on ground. Oh, on ground doesn't reset. That's right. Is it okay to just do this? Would that be fine? That is fine. Why is that fine? I don't know. Why is that fine? <laughs> Um, I I'm just gonna move this into a different script, so, um, not, not, like, not a block, sorry, just another script. Um, forever, um, no, I, I, that's a really bad way of doing that. Actually, I'm just gonna do that, that should have the same effect. Yeah, okay. Now I want to do like the thing where like if you stop holding the up arrow, like it it um like it 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 jumps like less high, I guess. So um, jumping question mark. So like if I do that, set jumping to zero. We're gonna set jumping to one. Actually, that's why I wanted to put it in a different script here. So if I do this and then I I wait until. Wait, up, not key up arrow, like this, and then set jump to zero. Actually, that or y velocity is less than less than zero, right? Because that means we're going down at that point. So not key up arrow pressed, or oh, that doesn't work because funny conditionals. Hang on, uh, and not and this there that should be fine okay now it should be fine it is no longer wait no it's not it's not fine wait so we want if the keep up arrow is not pressed or right or like this okay there we go there we go okay yeah we're fine okay and then if and then when that happens, I'm gonna set the player player gravity to negative two. That should make us fall faster, but then it doesn't let us jump high anymore. So um I guess now we move on like move on to like left and right movement, right? So let's make a new block. Change X. We can set X velocity to I should probably make jump height a variable so that I can control it so I'll just set that to 15 and put that in there um x speed I'll just set that to be a variable like that uh like 3 maybe um so and then we're going to multiply this this expression here by x speed um, yeah, this is our expression for changing the x velocity, right? So, we can change x velocity by whatever this is. Oh, and then we have to actually, like, move, change x here. Okay, that works, but there's no, like, friction, which kind of sucks. that like it's very snappy so we're gonna set friction to something really low like 0 0.9 right 
but I want us to come to like a complete stop if I like release. Actually, I feel like that's too fast. Maybe I should set like a max speed. Like I want, I want the player to accelerate to full like instantly and then like pretty much instantly, like within like a few frames, right? How does this feel? Let's see. Wait, what was that? Oh, if, if I fall off a ground, it doesn't count as if I'm on gr ground. Okay, how do I... I guess just set it to zero at the start of this script here. Would that be fine? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's weird. Okay. Let's see, can I... I can easily position myself where I want to be. Like, if I stop holding, it just immediately stops, which is kind of nice. But it, it still, like, doesn't like instantly stop so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna increase the friction if none of the keys are being pressed so if not or so like if neither of the keys are being pressed i'm gonna increase the friction if i do that um like Friction, friction, so friction is right now 0 0.8, and then we can set it to like 0 0.9 here. That should work. Oh wait, no, that, that changes it to be, never mind, wrong, wrong way. 0 point, 0 0.7, there we go. Yeah, that lets me have more control over where I want to land. I think this is a pretty good player controller, honestly. Uh, now I just need to add like coyote time, which is like basically when... Like essentially, like the frame after I leave the leave the platform, I don't want to. I, I if I press the jump button like a frame after I leave the platform, I still want to be able to jump. So what I'm gonna do? Coy how do you spell coyote? Co how do you spell coyote? Coyote, like this. Yeah, there we go. How many frames do we want? Like ten? Ten frames? What's that? Like third of a second? Let's set it to like eight. Yeah, okay, coyote timer to 8. I guess we set it when we touch the ground. That should be fine. So if we're not on the ground, like... Um, okay, uh, so I guess I would want it he here. So change coyote timer by negative 1, like here, would that be fine? So like, if I'm... Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if... Let's just set it to like if coyote timer is less than one, we're gonna just set it to zero. Uh, Cause I don't want the variable to go negative. No, for no reason, just, just because I don't want it to go negative. We're gonna have a and here. We're gonna have an and, or no, actually no, we're gonna have an or. We're gonna have on ground equals one or uh, is greater than zero, so we're gonna have co if coyote timer is greater than zero, or on ground is equal to one, and key up arrow press, that should be fine, right? So that doesn't disallow normal jumping, but if I walk off a platform, I should still be able to jump, like, a few frames after. That's a lot of leniency, actually. I don't want that much. Actually, once I, like, hang on, because I can, like, double jump if I time it correctly, so... Mm, yeah, that's kind of weird. So I'm just gonna after I jump after I jump I'm just gonna set the coyote attempt to zero. Oh That should be here. Sorry. Yeah Yeah, that's a lot of latency like leniency. I'm gonna set that to four Yeah, that's a lot of time. I'll set it to five. I'll set it to five. Five should be fine. Okay. But now it's time to try and fix like th this, right? And, and and this. So okay. Well, that makes me float until my y velocity goes negative. So we're gonna want to set y velocity to zero, like here. No, that's not a not helping. Can I do it here? Yeah, probably. Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Programming, my favorite. Okay. But we still have the issue of, like, 
teleporting up a wall like this, which is not something I want. So, um, yeah, we should fix that. Okay. How do we fix that? Uh, change X. Okay. Can, can we just do this? Just like do this here instead of that. We're going to have X velocity, not Y velocity, X velocity. Um, change X by one, change X by negative one. Would that work? It'd be really funny if this works. Why does that work? What? It, oh, no, but that shouldn't work. Why does that? Okay, well, we got we got a we we got a we got a we got a we got a platformer now. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, is that all I wanted to cover? Yeah, probably. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Just gravity. This is a really simple player controller, actually. Hang on. This is actually, like, really simple. And it's very customizable, and, like, you can actually, like, position, position yourself, like, where you want to be. Are there any bugs? There should be bugs. There's just no bugs, and I'm, that's really concerning, actually, because that means there's some really overlying, like, un like, underlying really big problem with my code, and that's kind of concerning. Um... I think we're fine though. Yeah, this is a really nice player controller actually. I might use this like for my other projects. Okay, that's the video, I guess. Uh, I, 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 hope, I hope I like upload in the next five years. <laughs> okay. <laughs>